What's up guys? So this isn't a video I wanted to ever make again. This isn't a video I wanted to make at all. Not from the start. Uh, the past month, or maybe even a little bit more, I got a lot of questions within vlogs. One, you don't seem like yourself. You, you, you seem like, you just don't seem excited. We, we, and, and just complaints in vlogs that I'm just not excited, I'm not myself, and um, I'm, I'm just not my joyful self within videos. And two, uh, you seem to be getting smaller, Pete. You seem to be losing weight and you seem to be getting smaller. And uh, both, both have been very true. Uh, and it's because I found out that um, cancer has grown inside my body. <laughs> it's not something I wanted or expected, but deep down inside I was also mentally semi-prepared for it. When I first had testicular cancer at the end of uh, September and I had my left testicle removed this one right here for as an example this got removed um, and initially there were concerns that some cancer particles came up here to my lymph nodes this is my lungs up here as an illustration if you can see um, and initially they they saw it that they thought that some of my lymph nodes were a little bit enlarged and they had concern about them. However, they did a scan a few, few weeks later um, just to see if there was any change in those lymph nodes to see if they got bigger because cancer grows and eventually it grows in one area and then it starts dispersing throughout the entire body. And based on the CT scan that they took, uh, about images about six weeks apart, they saw no growth in these lymph nodes and as a result, they put me on active surveillance. After that, I had a follow-up at the beginning of March. Um, there were not, no issues reported at that point. My blood work was still fine. Uh, and then my next follow-up was supposed to be in October. But I decided to be uh, proactive about everything and continue just to do blood work um, to make sure that everything was okay. Initially, the big spotter when you have testicular cancer is something called HCG within, within your blood. I'm trying to keep it together here the best I can because I'm really not in good shape right now. Uh, mentally, I'm, I'm in very, very bad shape. But like I said, when you have testicular cancer, they measure something called HCG levels. Um, and they go super high when you have testicular cancer. They indicate tumor markers and they go high when you're pregnant as well. And so my HCG levels were a little bit off um, initially. And we just, I went for a follow-up with, uh, with a testicular cancer specialist just to be sure. He said, there's probably nothing to worry about, but let's continue doing some more blood work. We did some more blood work. HCG levels went up again. We were kind of concerned, so we said, let's just do a CT scan to make sure and do more blood work. Did the blood work, HCG levels went up again. And after seeing the CT scan, they discovered that my lymph nodes had grown um, to the point where I would be classified as stage two um, with testicular cancer. Uh, this past Friday, I This past Friday, I, uh, I went in and it was, uh, it was a really difficult appointment for me. Spent four hours with doctors discussing my options. And that's when reality struck where I went through cancer once and having surgery, having a testicle removed and then having cancer again, I just thought there'd be a chance that I just, this wouldn't happen. I knew from the start that even if I had my testicle removed and everything seemed clear, there was a 15 to 20% chance that I could develop something in the future. And I am in that case where I have to, have to go through treatment now. 
I was given the option to do chemotherapy or radiation, and after weighing everything, I decided to go with radiation. Radiation targets a single part of your body, just a certain area where there is cancer, where they know there is cancer. It doesn't target the entire body like chemotherapy does. I've just been told by too many people that if you can avoid chemo, then you should. And since I was given both options, both radiation and chemo, I decided to go with radiation, in which I begin treatment next week. However, by doing radiation, there's still a 10% chance that I will be doing chemotherapy in the future. Reason being is there might be particles of cancer somewhere else, very, very tiny, that can't be detected right now, that could develop in the future. But for me, I'm just taking chemo as a last resort and hopefully we'll never have to take it. I'm being open about all this because I've been open with everything in my life on YouTube. And I know the initial video that I did on testi testicular cancer helped an immense amount of people and just really put this topic out there and, and let people know that this exists and you know, it, it can happen to you. I've decided that I'm going to vlog the entire radiation therapy that I'm going to be undertaking. It's going to be on my vlog channel at Furious Talks. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to follow along and see what is happening. I want to do this not for attention, not for views, but to simply show what somebody going through radiation therapy goes through and what happens because after my appointment, I went online and tried to find that exact information. And all I could find was articles about radiation, but not too much first-hand experience just to, just to know what's gonna happen. Can I work out? Can I, can I live my life normally? Am I gonna be not able to work? Am I not gonna be able to run my business? Everything, everything just compiled into one. There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening before I start radiation. Things like making sure that I can have kids in the future. So going to a sperm bank and things like that. Funny enough, all the doctors asked me, what do I do for a living? And I told them, I do YouTube. I do these crazy eating videos. I have Guinness World Records doing it. I do fitness videos. I do travel videos. And I asked them the question that I guess a lot of people have asked me over the years uh, is the fact that did what I do on YouTube, did all these world records and everything like that, influence me getting cancer. And every single doctor said, there's no chance in hell. It's something that I want to ask because a lot of people have asked me and it's something that I questioned as well. But to be honest, I really just don't eat like that ever really, only for videos on YouTube. That is just stunts that I do as part of my job. Other than that, I try and live a very healthy life. In fact, this past year, apart from the YouTube videos I've done, I've tried to live the healthiest life I could. I've also worked harder than I've ever worked in my life this past year after developing cancer the first time. I just, I knew that I needed to keep trucking, just try and work as hard as I possibly can and chase the dreams that I have. But unfortunately now, um, past month, the gym has been shit. I've lost 20 pounds. Um, my mood obviously hasn't been there, uh, and uh, it sucks. We moved into, we f I finally moved into a house with, with my fiance, and this is this is the first thing that we find out. Um, it just sucks. I know I'm gonna beat it. I know I'm gonna kill it, but it just sucks. This really sucks. I probably forgot to address a lot of stuff during this video because my mind is in too many places right now, but all of this fucking sucks. I just wanna, I just wanna keep doing what I'm doing and try and inspire, motivate, and try and make an impact on this world. But I keep, I keep having these obstacles along the way. But I know I've, I've always got you guys. <laughs> and it's no joke. You, you, guys, uh, you guys have changed my life. And you guys have... I, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things that I do without your support. Without your comments. Without, without everything. And obviously my family and friends. I, 
Finn, they've been just amazing as always. I, I didn't want to do a saw video at all. That, that wasn't the goal of this video whatsoever. I just want to explain what happened and explain to you guys that I'm going to document all this stuff so that if for some chance in hell you have to go through something like this, you know what to experience. And if you have the right mindset, and that's exactly what I'm going to have throughout this, then you can beat it. And we will beat it. We're going to beat it as a team. Team Furious. Right here. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. And I won't lie, I'm scared. But I got this. We got it. I seriously mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love all you guys. Even the haters. Even the doubters. I love you all. Thank you very much for tuning in, my friends. Stay hungry.